Hi everyone, this is Ryan Alvey, Chief Operating Officer of Titronic Software. Uh, just a little bit of background about who we are. We are a NASA contractor, primarily funded by NASA, also servicing the Department of Defense, as well as other large life science companies in the commercial space. Now before I get into exactly what I want to demonstrate today, let me tell you about kind of why we're here. Uh, what we're wanting to introduce is a piece of software we call Procedural Guidance, or for short, Pro-G. Now it's what we believe cutting edge and the first of its kind as we're introducing procedural guidance in an augmented reality form. What we do and what we try to perfect is protecting the human condition. We've done that multiple times with NASA via grants awarded over the last 20 years. We actually have products working on the International Space Station and products now also going on to the lunar rover and onto the lunar module. From there, we've deduced that technology and we've distilled that value learned over time to what now I'm going to show you here is Pro-G. Now what you can see is a platform. What it is, it's intrinsically safe, field deployable. You can see that it's built into just a normal hard hat. What it, hold, uh, what it houses is what's called the Microsoft HoloLens 2. This is your actual viewing augmented reality platform that is XE rated, meaning you do not have to wear safety glasses over this. It's ready and field deployable. Okay guys, what we're going to demonstrate now is actual Pro-G. Uh, this is what we call the UIA. It's an actual uh, piece of kit that's used on the International Space Station. It's what the astronauts use to hook up to get water supply, air supply, and also a waistline supply. Alright, now what you can see is now I have this floating essential procedural guidance a piece of tab, or let's just call it kit. I can grab it, move it, manipulate it, and put it to where I want it. Now what I'm going to do is lock it in place so I keep it out of the way of the actual procedure that I need to do itself, the actual deck. So what you're seeing right here is now I'm going to link procedure, uh, procedural guidance or Pro-G with the actual UIA. So what I'm going to do is hit the next button, then I'll hit the next button again, then I'll hit UIA, then I'll hit the next button again, and then I'll hit next. Then I'm going to go ahead and choose the procedure that I want to do. Obviously, that's the UIA panel procedure object recognition. All right, that's identify the UIA panel procedure. Okay, I hit the down button to go to the next one. Okay, as you can see, it vectors the user and has a radical floating around exactly what switch I need to flip. Now, due to mirroring and what you're going to be seeing from a video standpoint, it's actually going to be slightly off, but that's again due to that mirroring piece. The actual user itself sees a floating green, flashing green circle and vectors the user as to which uh, switch to flip and where to go. So I'm going to go ahead and flip on the EMU. Now I'm going to go over and look and now automatically Pro-G takes me to the next step. Again, it vectors me to another floating radical to turn on the EMU power switch. Again, takes me automatically to the next step. So it's forward leading the user in the procedure. Make sure EV1 1.2 power LEDs are green. It looks like they are. We're good to go. We go on to the next step. All right, this is very important. We want to make sure that we turn on oxygen and get oxygen to, to our uh, uh, astronaut supply suit. It tells me to go ahead and open that up. Now it takes me to the next procedure 1.6, open EMU2 oxygen valve. Again, forward leading. The radicals are showing you exactly where you need to be, vectoring the user into a precise location. Open EV1 water supply. I'm going to open that up. And what this does is it documents everything that the operator is doing in the field. And so since it's web-based, anyone from anywhere from around the world can log in and watch the procedure in real time. Also, too, they can communicate back and forth between one another, either through verbal via the HoloLens and seeing video of what the operator is doing, or just verbal cues going back and forth, or via text. Another thing that the program and software can support is actually taking pictures and videos and getting different files and uploading that into the actual procedure itself. So it's telling me I'm on 1.8 open the EV2 water supply valve. Again, it's highlighted. Open that up. It's going to take me again directly to 1.9. Now I need to open up the EV1 water waste valve. 
Again, highlighted, very intuitive, very easy. Now I'm on step 1.10. This is to the telemetry variables. So I need to open up the EV2 water waste. That is open. From there, I need to open the O2 vent. And now I need to locate the matting bolts. So again, the radicals are floating around the matting bolts. I've identified where they're at, one here, one here. Now that I've identified, onto the next procedure. And now I need to connect the SCU. So we've actually built a 3D hologram to show exactly what the unit looks like. So what I'm going to do is now connect the SCU via the hologram, showing me exactly where that placement needs to be. From there, now that that's complete, I go to the next step. I've completed the procedure, and now we're done. So guys, that's it. Just wanted to give you a high level highlight of exactly the value that we can deliver. Again, remember, intrinsically safe houses the HoloLens 2, augmented reality, procedural guidance. We're protecting the human condition. We are taking out human error out of all procedures. So with that, I just want to go ahead and close, say thank you for your time. If you need us, call us. We're on the web, www.titronics.com. Love to hear from you. Talk soon.